Here is the house at 2102 Demers in Prescott. Just, it's on a somewhat busy street, but it has a nice row of trees that kind of keep things private. And here's your entrance. Um, the, the entrance does need to be amended, have the water diverted. You can kind of see it, it comes off the street and makes a big rut um, through your front driveway. Here are the steps to the front entry. As you come in the house, there is a 12 inch tile floor. And then here's the highlight of the house in my opinion. It's got a great kitchen. It's pretty much all finished. It's got nice oak cabinets um, and laminate countertops, but everything is, is pretty new, pretty well maintained. Um, if you like gas ovens, it doesn't have gas here, but um, probably can get it somehow. Here is the dining room. Nice um, Victorian style chandelier uh, ceiling pan. And then also there is a wood burning, I think this is a pellet stove in the house for heating. It's got nice crown molding throughout the room. It's got a laminate floor that looks like a, an oak. And from here you walk down the hallway. And then on the left side is a bathroom. Um, it needs to be refinished in my opinion. But it does have, it is a full bath. There's the toilet. It needs some, some tiles replaced. Um, and the other side of the bathroom is a bedroom. And then a nice full closet with mirrored doors. It needs a new, new entry door. Uh, here is your, your laundry facilities. And then into the master bedroom. Um, decent size space. I would say probably 10 or 12 by 14, something like that. Um, it does have single pane windows. It looks like throughout the house. Um, I would assume you'd want those replaced. A, here is the master closet. Uh, not huge, but adequate. Uh, a single vanity. And then there is the shower and the bathroom. Toilet area. From the living room, you can go out to the patio. Um, it is a very nice patio, in my opinion. It needs to be resurfaced, uh, maybe replaced, um, but it does have great short distance views. Um, I, you know, the boulders here in Prescott are a very desirable trait. Um, and from what I understand, the lot goes all the way up to basically where that tractor is on the backside. Um, and then if you can kind of see through the trees there, there is a garage to the house that is included with this one. And then there is a small dog running. From the living room again, um, there is an entry to the old garage that has been converted. So there's a small three steps down, but there is a big space in here. It does have uh, outside access, um, uh, popcorn ceilings, it does have a wall heater, a space heater here, and then there are two small rooms off to each side. Um, so there's one there, um, there's a couple holes in the wall. And then there is another big one here, and this one is has leads out outside as well. Um, there is a, a need to fix a window here, and then there is some drywall issues there. So here is a portion of the backyard or side yard, however you want to configure it. But it's a nice open space, especially if you trim back the bushes here. Um, if you come down, there is a wash that runs through the property. Um, this may or may not be an issue for floodplain aspects of it, but I wouldn't imagine that it would ever be so big that it would cause, cause any flooding. Um, but you can see how it kind of runs up right up underneath the deck. So from a separate entrance off of another street, you have this garage, um, which is a nice big two-car garage with a small carport and a full concrete driveway from the street. Um, there's the creek that splits the yard in half. I'm assuming that's why they did it this way. 
but he, this is a nice addition to the property for extra storage or a place to park if you want to convert that old spot back. Um, but you can see you'd walk down the side and you'd come in behind the house, cross over the bridge, and then there's the house, and that's the back patio.